find a possible formula for the exponential function through the point 0, 0,6 and 2, 150 graph below. Solution. Remember the equation of a exponential function in general should be written this way, right? Y equal k times k times b raised to x, right? Where k is some real number and b is a positive number that cannot be equal to y, right? Now, this point zero comma six belongs to the graph, right? So which means that I can substitute x for zero and y for six into this formula. And what I should get is a true state, right? The x is zero, right? Now, notice that this b raised to zero, since b is positive, should be just one, right? And we have this nice property that any positive number raised to zero is equal to one, right? So this tells me that k, the constant, should be equal to six, right? Should be equal to six. So now, if you place your constant equal to six, right here, right? You found it, right? Then, you can have now that y should be equal to six b raised to x, right? b raised to x. Now, similarly, we can find now the value of b by using this second point, two comma 150, right? We know this point belongs to the graph, so the coordinates x and y must satisfy this equation, right? So substituting y for 150 and x for two here, this is what we get, an equation that we can solve for v, right? Dividing both sides of this equation by six, we get the following, b squared equal six into 150 should be 25. Professor, how do you know? Well, I know it because I do mathematics all the time, right? But if you don't know it, you can get it in your scientific calculator. It's 24, right? Great. So now, next, I want b by itself, right? b by itself. So the next step should be, I should take the square roots in both sides, right? Square roots in both sides. I know b is positive, so I don't have to consider a plus minus here, right? B is a positive number, it's a base of this exponential function. So the square root of 25 is just five, right? Five. So now that I got B, I can go back to the equation I replace it. And therefore, therefore, we have found an exponential function satisfying the requirement, right? Which is this, this one. Y equals six times five raised to X. 